Hello guys, so this is a show vlog that's <laughs> slightly late. I think this show was like a month ago. Um, I'm finishing my masters at the moment in animal chiropractic, so it takes up a lot of my time, so I'm very backdated in videos. This was my second show of the season with the Urano. This was the 115, um, both days. Um, just with this show, I just wanted to go around and just go clear, so I didn't take any like inside turns or do anything crazy. Because um, the first show of the season, he stopped once, as he can do occasionally. Um, so my aim here was just to go around and just go clear. Um, this was about four weeks ago, so the weather was still very hot. Um, the warm-up, I don't know if you can see everybody warming up behind, the warm-up arena was split into two, which usually it's not. Usually we have the whole space, so the warm-up was really tight when you're trying to jump like 115, 120 fences with like 10 other horses in like a really small arena. A little bit difficult so he was actually a little bit like stressy like in the warm-up he was quite like excitable and stressed um, but luckily in the ring he was he was quite good um this round felt pretty good the only part i didn't like is the last jump um here i have to really get him to wait for the six strides because he's just like eating the ground um and yeah this is the last fence we're actually clear in ninth or tenth this day um and i'm waiting for the distance and he is like no that was horrible yes. for me <laughs> Um, the second day, the, what, the, the class was a lot earlier in the day, so it was like 30 something degrees. Uh, he jumped fantastic in the warm up in the first half of the course. We had a couple of pulls down in this round, I just felt like he got a bit flat, um, he just kind of ran out of power. Um, but my feeling this day was fantastic, like he just was really rideable, <clears throat> all our distances felt good. I didn't get any flyers to the last jump like I did the first day, whoops. Um, but you'll see, like, I think after jump number six, it's after the white double, he just gets, um, just gets flat. Because he's very careful, actually, normally. He doesn't usually touch too many poles. Um, and, yeah, overall, I was really happy with this feeling. Like, I was much happier with the second day. Even though the first day I was clear in place, I was actually much happier with the second day. There goes the first pole. Um, yeah, I felt much happier with this round. He was just really rideable and like he responded to me if I asked him to go, he went. If I asked him to come back, he came back. That one fell there. You can hardly see it on the video. <clears throat> um, and this jump here, I don't know, this is just where I really start to felt him, feel him tired. He just left his legs behind, which was really unlike him. So I actually added a stride to this line. Um, I had planned to do one less when I walked the course with my trainer, but then I decided just to add one, just to keep them together. And then over the last bit, no problem. So yeah, um, not the best results wise, but I was happy with it. <laughs>